Let's see this problem asked in the CBSE examination year was 2011. The problem says dietitian wishes to mix two types of food. So there is a dietitian. She may, uh, wants to mix two types of food. The first is and it is given that the vitamin contents of the mixture contain at least 8 units of vitamin A. So we are talking about at least 8 units of vitamin A. That means minimum 8 unit requirement has to be fulfilled. More also can be there. And then 10 units of vitamin C. So there is no vitamin B, but we are talking about vitamin A and C. Now food 1 is there. Food 1 has 2 units per kg of vitamin A and 1 unit per kg of vitamin C. Then there is another food, food 2, which has 1 unit per kg of vitamin A and 2 units per kg of vitamin C. Now it costs rupees 5 per kg to produce food 1 and rupees 7 per kg to produce food 2. Formulate to minimize the cost. So minimize the cost means this problem is an optimization problem of minimization. So let's start. I write solution and let's draw a table in order to understand it more better. So what I do is I draw a table, very rough sketch. The markings and all can be made by the ruler and the scale. So what are the resources like? We are talking about the resources of your vitamin A and vitamin C. I write in short uh, VITA, VITC. Then what kind of food are we talking about? We are talking first of food 1, then we are talking of food 2. Right? And what requirement is there? The requirement has been given, you know, very well in the question itself. So now let's see what has to be done. I'll make this table. There is also one cost factor into picture. So we'll see what this cost factor is all about. But first let's not panic and write whatever is given in the form of a table. Again I start reading the question. The first line does not give me any information. And the requirements to be fulfilled are at least 8 units of vitamin A and 10 units of vitamin C. So 8 units of vitamin A, 10 units of vitamin C. Then I have what food 1 which has 2 units per kg of vitamin A. So food 1 has 2 units per kg and 1 unit per kg of vitamin C. Next, there is also another food which is food 2 which has 1 unit one unit per kg of vitamin A and two units of vitamin C per kg. Next is it cost 5 rupees per kg. So cost is 5 rupees per kg for the food number 1 and it is 7 rupees per kg for the food number 2. The cost has to be minimized. So if I name the objective function as Z, it is minimum of z which is 5x plus 7y where x units per kg for food 1 and y units per kg for food 2. So that you have to mention what is x and y. Now definitely the requirement can never be negative. So the constraints would be x greater than equal to 0, y greater than equal to 0 initially. The first thing is very sure. What about the next thing? I know that x units per kg of food 1, y units per kg of food 2. So 2x plus y and here 1 into x is x plus 2y. These are the two conditions. Now the minimum requirement that has to be fulfilled is 8 and 10 respectively. So I have minimum is 8 so it can be even greater than and here minimum is 10 it can even be greater than. So what are the conditions? Minimize the objective function z subject to these constraints and these are the non-negative constraints. So this is how you do this kind of a question. Very important to understand, very easy also because only a table has been made and rest is clear as it is.